Use matrix multiplication to show that in the xy plane, a rotation 90 degrees anti-clockwise about the origin, followed by a reflection in the line y equals x, is equivalent to a reflection in the x-axis. So let's consider first the 90 degree anti-clockwise rotation. I'm considering the points with 1, 0 as its position vector and the point with 0, 1. A 90 degree rotation means this one goes to here and this one goes around here to negative 1, 0. And that means that the matrix for that, let's call it matrix 1, would be 0, 1, so it's what happens to this point, and then negative 1, 0, so the second column is what happens to that point. Okay, let's look at reflection in y equals x. So once again, we consider those same points, 1, 0, and 0, 1. And the line y equals x goes like this. And therefore, this point reflects to here, and this one reflects to here. So the matrix that we want for that one, matrix 2, is going to be 0, 1, 1, 0. Now, if we want the transformation, which is doing the rotation first, then the reflection, then the matrix multiplication we need to do is 0, 1, 1, 0. So we do this one on the left and 0, negative 1, 1, 0 here. The reason we put them there is because x, y, any coordinates would come in this way and therefore meet the rotation first. So, we have 0 times 0, 1 times 1, so that's going to give me 1. And then 0, 1, so 0 times negative 1, 1 times 0, that one will be a 0. Then we've got 1 times 0, 0 times 1, this one is a 0. And then we have 1 times negative 1, 0 times 0, so this one is negative 1. Now let's consider what happens when we reflect in the x-axis. So, there's 1, 0, here's 0, 1. This one will stay exactly where it is because it's on the mirror line. This one will reflect across down here to 0, negative 1. And therefore the matrix for this one, which we'll call M3, is 1, 0, 0, negative 1, which is the same as that one 